hello and welcome back to my channel my name is jess also known as the fat funny one and before i even introduce myself look at this chaos we had a massive party at our house for our four-year-old and two-year-old um, as they were having their respective birthdays and we had about 45 people plus a bunch of kids it was absolute chaos now these are actually all clean and have already been washed up but just need putting away but yeah you can see absolute chaos so come with me and get this post party cleanup done so first things first i'm racking the kettle on to make a coffee because lord knows i need it today and let's get started so for those who've just landed on my channel my name is jess also known as the fat funny one and yeah this channel is just a mixture of everything a bit of cleaning motivation i love those videos so i'm sharing some some confidence tips parenting family life hacks hauls all sorts you can pretty much find it here so i'm currently listening to brené brown atlas of the heart adoring it adore brené brown brilliant brilliant book and you definitely need some good music a good playlist or a good audiobook to get you through the cleaning so i'm ready to go with my coffee and i am going to do it so the first thing i'm doing is this little area here we made into like a bar so we had loads of drinks and stuff so i've got a clear plastic tub from the garage to put all of the party things away that we don't need and i'm going to clear that space first i always find it so much easier once you've got a space that's clear you can just get on with it and you've got a little bit more room to work with so i'm putting away everything that was actually already washed so i know it looks chaotic but these were all washed up last night they just needed all putting away and i'm going to work my way through the kitchen and then move over to the living room they were the two rooms that were the most chaos because it's where the most people were but anyway i'm gonna stop talking now hopefully this gives you some motivation and i'll catch up with you in a minute Now I just want to quickly address the missing cupboard doors so we bought this house as a massive project a lot of work needs doing and this actually this whole room shouldn't actually be a kitchen so long story I'm gonna do a full video about the house but when we moved in there just wasn't any cupboard doors and um, I think the people who lived here before kind of got a repurposed kitchen and um, hence why nothing matches there's loads of doors missing and um, there was some doors on the island um, and on the first day when I opened it it literally came off of my hand so yeah that explains that I feel like some of you are probably screaming at the screen where are your gloves so I just can't wear washing up gloves I just find them so irritating um, but I'm really lucky that I can just cope with really hot water you can see the steam coming off everything and yeah I can just use that I will use gloves if I'm dealing with particularly harsh chemicals or really really strong cleaning products but this is just washing up liquid so we're good and a bit of hot water I can cope with that so yeah I know you're probably screaming where are the gloves um and sorry but I'm, I'm making it work Now I love this mop, it is the Valida Twist Twist Mop, I've probably had it for about 2 or 3 years, I literally love it, I just replace the head every so often but you can actually put the head in the washing machine which is delightful. So giving the floor a really good scrub because obviously we had lots of foot traffic in here, <sighs> now I've got to tackle this absolute beast of a living room. I had also set up in this section like an ice cream sundae station for the kids hence the sprinkles and marshmallows and sauces so I'm going to clear all this away start with the surfaces work my way around the room so do the table next and a few other bits and then hopefully clear the floor so yeah let's keep going
So this table is actually normally in our kitchen, but we moved it in here for the party. And since then, I feel like it just totally fits in this spot. So we're leaving it here. And um, the balloons lasted, this was a couple of weeks ago now, but the balloons actually lasted almost two weeks, which was amazing. So I'm going to just give it a quick hoover and put the table back. And we're actually going to leave it here in the living room because we really, really enjoy it in this space. So Isabella's auntie bought her this, I think it's called like a life pet, I don't know, it like sticks to every smooth surface and Isabella decided the TV was an appropriate place for it. So as I was trying to pull this off, the actual advert for it came on the telly, which oh, it did really make me chuckle, um, but it like lights up, I don't know, anyway I managed to get it off and then I just have to keep going. So in a second I'm going to show you the box where I've just moved another clear box from the garage to put more party things away, so like the party weights I got for all the balloons because we will reuse those party after party. Now the only thing I didn't get done in here was sort out all her presents um, because we wanted to sit down and open them all together. Now that everything's all packed away, I'm gonna give everywhere a quick vacuum, but guess who didn't charge the Hoover? Yes, the battery died on my Dyson. So I got like two minutes in and then it died, but I came back later and finished it all off. So the room itself is nice and tidy, but obviously I've still got this chaos of presents in the corner, but we will deal with those later. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm off for a cuppa now. Bye.